Okie dokie, artichokey. Good morning. Happy Monday. <laughs> Tammy and Kelly are chit chatting in the in the chat. I love it. Chit chatting in the chat. That's what chats are for. Chit chatting. Um, it's April tenth. I don't know what happened. It's already it's already a quarter of the way through the year almost. We'd better slow down, I think. Um, that's what I think. I went for a walk on Saturday, I think, which sounds, you know, mundane, but it was the first walk I've taken without Clara. And it was a beautiful day, and I made myself get out of my chair and go outside and walk around the neighborhood just to the north of me and then around my block. And I only encountered one – well, I encountered somebody I said hi to because they were – they were busy. But then one of my neighbors said, no, Clara. And I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> no, Clara, all gone. Um, Cause when you don't walk around and talk to the neighbors, they don't get caught up. So, but it was a nice, I went a mile according to my watch partway through my Apple watch partway through said, you know, buzzed at me. And I looked at it and said, it looks like you're going for a walk. <laughs> Would you like to record it? I'm like, sure, let's do that. So according to my uh, magic watch, I walked just over a mile in just under a half hour. So what a good pace, but hey, yay me. Felt good. Um, so I Okay, so we're gonna clear out another um laundry basket that's been sitting here in the dining room for well over a year, probably since pre-COVID and probably years before that. I have lost track of how long I've had these things waiting. I'm finding the floor slowly. Hi. Did you want to say hi up here? Look. Look. You can see his shadow on my shirt. <gasps> it's Mr. Mustache. <laughs> he loves being grabbed and dragged around by me. He doesn't say he doesn't. So what we're going to do is go through this um, laundry basket. And, see, you know, my house is just a floating cloud of cat hair now. <laughs> it's just very floaty, more floaty than other cats I've had. Um we're going to go through this this box, which appears to be a lot of baby shoes. I just need to deal with some things. Um, Stride Right was the store of choice, apparently. I don't know what's in here. I mean, it's shoes, obviously. I want to say that I can, I can let some of these go. Oh, black sneakers. I had two sons. I still have two sons. <laughs> Whoops. Um, these are pretty big, actually. They're very sturdy. Not a lot of walking. A little bit. There's goop in there. Maybe these can go in the free cycle. You're going to tell me to save them. I'm going to save some of them, but not all of them. And they, they're going to look a lot alike. So I can definitely let some go. This is going to go fast. This is a bigger box. Oh my gosh, I don't remember these at all. <laughs> Those are adorable. Somebody will want to wear these. When somebody will want these for their child. It's interesting. There's a, you know, there's a bunch of free whatever groups on Facebook. And I belong to a bunch of them. And some are unique to the little town where I live. And thanks, thanks, Tammy and Kelly. Walking outside is cool. It did feel good. Um, when my first dog, my only other dog, passed away, it felt really weird to go walking without her. And this time it was okay. I had, I had something on my mind I had to think through. So maybe that was distracting me, but, um, it felt good. I'll do it again. <laughs> um, these are cute. So there's free cycle, free type things. I don't think I'm even on the free cycle group. And some are just for my little town. Some are for the, township some are for the you know bigger area and lately and I've gotten some good free things there and I've gotten rid of some good free things there um 
They also just joined a barter group, which sounds pretty cool. It looks to be pretty active. I don't quite understand it yet, but I'm watching it. Um, ooh, um, hmm. Lately, though, it's a lot of clothing, like ba garbage bags full of a certain size of women's clothing or boys clothing or baby, you know, toddler clothing. And I'm like, I don't want any of that stuff. And so now I'm going to put some, put my own in there. These are cute. These are very scuffed or else dusty. Nope. They're very scuffed. Still not a lot of wear, but they're very scuffed. So somebody was kicking a lot, but these are adorable. I don't need to save them. I don't remember them, but they are very cute. They look like something we would have purchased for our, one of our children. See, that's part of it too. I don't remember. Ew, that was sticky. <laughs> I don't remember from one to the other. <sighs> oh. There's something gross in here. These are just your typical white shoes. These have been well loved. They have wear marks on them. Oop, the sunshine is just too there. Can you see they're worn? So these were walked in. The other ones, maybe not so much. The box is kind of gross. Yep, we're going to definitely get rid of some of these things. Do -do -do. There's a Charlie Chaplin movie. I don't know which one it is. Okay, there's a Charlie Chaplin movie. I don't know which one it is. And it was par parodied imitated by Robert Downey Jr. in some movie or something that he was in. And that's where I first saw it. But it has to do with Charlie Chaplin. I think he has two dinner rolls and he's making them look like little shoes. Does that sound familiar to anybody? Obviously, I am I totally have that one memorized. Okay, so far we're at three pairs of shoes we can get rid of. Here's a pair without a box. These are eensy teeny. Very lightweight and, oh, they're like soft. They're like slipper things, but very well used. Which is which? Does it matter? Maybe it doesn't matter. It looks like we've settled into, maybe it does matter. It has little colorful aglets. No, those aren't aglets. These are aglets. Thank you. The Tramp, probably. And then Benny and June. Thank you. That sounds right. I'd forgotten all about that movie. See the cute little primary color eyelet thing. Uh, what are those called? I have the thing that you squish things on with. All right. What are those called, you guys? Because, you know, the, the little squishy thing and they, they're like little cylinders and then you squish them down and and there they are but they're not aglets because that's the end of the <sighs> I'm losing that vocabulary word there's no box for these um I'm sure I can get rid of these too I don't have any feelings about those <laughs> yeah we have to trash that one box it looks like it's been um it looks like it's been um seen some animal liquid, <laughs> animal liquid of some kind down in the basement. Or just something was spilled in it that now looks gross. The shoes look fine. Oop, whoops, we're halfway done. Isn't that exciting? Thank you, Tammy, for being my movie um, resource. I'm still watching... I think I told you I'm watching Midsummer Murders, and I have to announce, I'm probably going to put this on Facebook too, because people will think I'm crazy, which is fine with me. I've had an earworm since before I got sober. Oh, oops. I've had an earworm since um, pre, -co pre I don't know if it's pre-COVID. Pre I didn't mark when it started, but um, it it's, it's, I don't know where it came from. I mean, I know where it comes from. I know what it is. It took me a while to figure out what it was. I had to like hear it in the wild and go, ah, oh, what's that? And then I shazammed it. <laughs> if you're familiar with Shazam, it's pretty amazing. You have to be quick though. It's an app on your phone that you can 
turn on and then it listens to the music that's playing and tells you what it is. And it even tells you which version it is and whose, whose version it is, which is cool. So my earworm is from the opera Carmen, which I've never seen. <laughs> and it's like the, let me look it up. Cause I heard it again recently and I heard the name of it and I'm like, jalapeno. I don't think so. So let's look real quick. So I've had this earworm since movie names. I played this game at breakfast yesterday with my stepdad. Fun. I would lose. <laughs> I'd say, you know, the one with the person who did the thing. And I wouldn't have any details beyond that. Although I just did a little bit better. Okay. Stay on task. We're looking for the opera Carmen. Whoops. Sorry. Sniffing again. Okay, I think it's the habanera. Let's see if we can play it. Sorry. Right now I can't bring it up. Sometimes in my head, I mean, sometimes it's just, I mean, I just hum it constantly and I've been doing it for years. I'm, I'm, I stopped drinking on August 3rd of 2020 and it's, I had it going before that. And I don't know why. Let's see if we can figure it out. This is two minutes, 11 seconds. I won't play all of it. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. <laughs> do I need sound? Where are these sound? It's on. It's on, but you're not hearing it. Right? Oh, that's on. Yep, this is it. Can you hear it? I don't know the words. I don't sing it. I just hum it. I don't know if you can hear it. Okay, we'll stop playing in case you can't hear it. In my head... Like 24 hours a day, nonstop. That's what 24 hours a day means, Sarah. And now, oops, and now it's been replaced by the theme from Midsummer Murders. <laughs> so yay, I'm sure it'll come back, but I don't know why I've been hearing that song for years in my head, and I didn't even know what it was until I heard it on um, WKAR, the local... Um, NPR station. And I'm like, that's the song. And I don't know where I got it from, but fun, huh? Craziness. Very craziness. Okay. Next box. We're going to do that one in a little bit. Um, here's a little something different. Steve, Kirk, Steve, Kirk, Steve. I'm assuming if it's German. Ooh, getting some craziness there. It's a little probably pewter. Oh, let's find out. Care of pewter. I can probably put this behind me. Oh boy, does that look crazy to you? It looks crazy to me. It went crazy. Huh, there we go. Um, I have, oh, you can't see because I'm not showing you. Oh, it's up here, so you probably can't see because it looks like my tree's outside, but I have a whole bunch of pewter pieces. I, I'm sure I've talked to you about that before. I haven't met the right one yet. Well, there you go. Yeah. Um. Whoops. No, the, the Carmen thing wasn't from Midsummer Murders. I've only been watching Midsummer Murders for like two weeks. <laughs> I can imagine it in an episode, too. Um. I should look at the English translation. So hilariously, I haven't met the right one yet. I got asked out this weekend on a date. <laughs> I had to say no. It was very sad. Um, it, was, it was a shock. Care of pewter. So this is pewter. It's not engraved. We were probably supposed to get it engraved. So that could get passed on to somebody, except it's really cute and I have pewter stuff. So I think I'll put that in with the pewter stuff. I'm surprised it's not engraved. We were probably supposed to get it engraved after somebody was born. Right? It's not engraved. 
Yeah, but it's beautiful. Okay, that stays out of the box and we'll put it in the thing. Here we go right now. Look at me taking care of it. Put it right there. You can't see. There it goes. Boom, we're saving that. Yes, a date. I know, crazy. Somebody I met before I stopped drinking at a party a couple times and they were very nice and we hit it off, although he was married, but now he's not. And so he contacted me and I'm like, yeah, if you're still drinking, I can't do that. <laughs> and he is in fact still drinking. So I'm like, damn it. Um, oh, I don't remember these either. Goobers. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but gross. Yeah, I was sad. Drinking me would have jumped on that chance. Okay. These are cute. These are, are these, these were also in a stride right box. Those got a lot of wear. Ooh, maybe I need to clean them before I, I don't think I'm going to clean them before I offer them. I guess I could scrub the bottoms at least, but I'm not going to worry about the, these are definitely hard sold. Holy cow. Yeah, the last, the last time I was asked out was probably before I got married. <laughs> so that was in 88. So it's probably in at least 87. Yep. Fun times. All right. Here comes another one. Oh, there's like an ant, a dead ant. Oh my goodness, I don't remember these either. See, these won't be hard to let go because I don't remember them. Oops. And they have zero ties to them, and my kids certainly won't remember them. I remember those shoes I wore when I was one. Nikes, but they were in stride right too. There's some more goop on the bo this box. Dynastep Primary. That probably goes with these. That's probably that that box. Dynastep Primary. Do they say Dynastep on them anywhere? Wii Sports. Or maybe it's these. Pressure Path. It sounds like Dynastep to me. <laughs> Does it matter? No, but if I give them away, it might be nice to have them in a box. So we'll put those in there. They fit like it's the right size. Yeah, that, yeah. What were these called? Anything? Peewee Velcro White Royal Leather. Well, I don't think that's royal. All right, well, that's got it. Oh, maybe it's... Nope. I think these are different. I think these are not stride right, right? Isn't this fun? I'm so excited to get rid of this um, box of th laundry basket of things. Oh, Tammy got asked out yesterday at the bookstore looking at Maria Rilke, is it Rilke? Book. He thought I was German and single, apparently. Well, go you, go us. Tis the, tis the week. Ugh. All right, and then there's my favorites that I will keep, which are in a Nike box because boys, and they look like they could be cleaned. They are teeny tiny. Oh. They are teeny tiny. These would be a first pair. Wait, they go like that, okay. And they're Air Jordans because my then husband was a huge Michael Jordan fan. So, you know, Air Jordans. And then our firstborn's name is Jordan. So it must be spring. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, must be. Um, yeah, those are cute. I'll save, I'll clean those up and save those because they're just too adorable. And I actually remember them. So there you go. All right. And they have a cute little tin that they come in. So there you go. I'm saving one pair out of seven. Yay me. I'll clean them up at some point, probably in another couple years. And then what else is in this box? Ooh. 
can't wait to, it's not a box, Sarah. It's a laundry basket. It's mating season. Kelly. <laughs> I don't care if they're worth money, Tammy. Those I keep. Yeah, there's lots of stuff I have that's probably worth money, and I'm not going to go through all that. I have other things to do. Okay, like knitting. Um, and then I have... Um, these are in that box. These have obviously been washed. Um, they may have been a lamb's pride... Uh, the colors remind me of a, of a brown sheep, not lamb's pride. Um, but I don't remember. I'm sure I have it written down in a notebook somewhere. And I know that, I mean, obviously they felted, whoops. But I also know that whoever, probably Jordan, I think, you know, oldest son got all the stuff. <sighs> I'm sure that they kept wearing them anyway. Oh, they probably felted from playing in the snow. Hello. And they kept wearing them, even though, look, they would fit me. Well, they wouldn't, but width-wise. But I'm pretty sure they still got worn, even after they got felted. I will save these. Never fear. Stuff keeps falling off of all these things. Gross. So we'll wash these, too. And then I also have this pair, also felty. And again, I'm sure it's because of um, playing in the snow. These are adorable. Okay. they're They're squishy. These are like cast iron and these are like not quite as cast iron they're squishy and you can still see the stitch definition but these got well, well worn also so I don't know if I'll ever be a grandma but if I am and there's teeny tiny grandchildren involved I'll pass these on but you know what it's hard when you have two kids what do you do okay and there's one more thing which is totally not like the others this is gonna crack you up maybe this is it's Ugh, I can't wait to dump that, those bugs outside. This is my cap and gown from my graduation in high school. <laughs> Do I need to keep this? I don't know. Opening it. I don't know when the last time was that I opened it. 1979. Here's the cap that says that's the front. North Allegheny High School in... Uh, well, it's in Wexford, Michigan now. Front. <laughs> John T. I can't because I have the headphones on. Um, yeah, so there's my John T. Mortar board thingy. And here's the gown. Ooh. Fancy white collar. In perfect shape. Ooh, and a zipper. These are nice. This can go in dress up. I don't, I have a dress up I'm going to get to eventually and I should save it in case, I mean, if I don't have grandchildren, we'll pass it on to somebody else, but it's got a nice zipper up the front. I don't know what they have now, but probably like Velcro or nothing at all. I could be wrong, but yeah, there you go. Got my money's worth out of that because I saved it for 89, 99, 109, 119, 44 years because this is about the time of graduation, isn't it? I'll never fold it up again to fit in that bag, so we'll just set it aside. Mr. Mustache can sit on it. But yeah, I'll save that. That'll go and dress up so I know where that goes now. Whoops, just unplugged my laptop accidentally. <sighs> Tammy's were missing in action a long time ago. She graduated two years later. Kelly rented caps and gowns. I only have the tassel. Oh, I don't have the tassel. I wonder if it's somewhere else. I don't, I haven't yet been in the area that has the box that says Sarah. So that might have, I mean, there's more than a box. I mean, it's, there's a box. It says Sarah. There's a box that says Rowena, which is my mom. And there's a box that says Richard, which is my dad. I gave the Ryan box to Ryan, the X, and I don't have a Jordan and a Kieran box, but I guess I'd better start them. But I have one area that's got those kinds of things that's smaller. Yeah. I have my children's tassels. Trying to save those. I need to start a box for each of the kids. I mean, just to put the just to have a place to put the things. And then and then I have the closet at the bottom of the stairs that's full of all the games and Easter stuff and okay, and then the holiday stuff. 
is in the utility room, which I intend to pull out and put on the shelves that currently have the Sarah, uh, Sarah Rowena Richard boxes. I don't know where those are going to go. And then I have the closet at the bottom of the stairs that's going to have, that's got all the games, all the Legos. Oh my God. And I'm, I'm not going to give those away right away. I'm going to play with all of them. <laughs> I've done it before. It's really fun. It takes a long time. But, you know, I'm anal retentive and I like to play little things. So, <sighs> did I say board games? And then there's the Easter baskets. For some reason, they're not with the Easter decorations in the utility room. But anyway, big closet there full of, that's not going to be, I started to go through that one since pieces were missing and I knew that they were somewhere in the house. So I just held on to them and then I just shoved them all back in the closet at one point. <laughs> So that's a big one. I'm still working on whatever pile this was from however many years ago. <laughs> less than 30 years ago. Less than 26 years ago. Anyway, it's time for our oracle reading. Yay! There we go. <sighs> so we're saving the Air Jordans, the teeny tiny Air Jordans and the cat and the mittens. Put those on top of that box. And then I do have another, I have more boxes for us to go through, more laundry baskets. Um, I hope you enjoy going through the oldie, oldie things, old timey things. But, oh, I'm so excited I can clean out that. I can dump the laundry basket out and then clean it and put it to use. Shuffle number one. Shuffle number two. Mr. Mustache is very busy cleaning his tail. Shuffle number three. Boop. Boop. And then let's do it there. Okay. Ready? Brace ourselves. Maybe I'll go for a walk before I go to work. I have to eat breakfast though. Card number one. Oh man, the lace weight silk. I say oh man because we had this last week. Okay, lace weight silk, my interpretation, um, highly coveted, extravagant, beautiful, luxurious. Um, this one is dyed, uh, do we call that space dyed? Sections are painted different colors, which means when you open it up, it's going to have a um, short color repeat. There's your lesson for today. Thanks. Did your sister use your cap and gown? No. I have older sisters. They had their own damn caps and gowns. And I don't have any nieces or nephews um, that they would use. Oh, look. And then... Kelly says, congratulations for going through stuff. And thank you, because honestly, years it's been sitting here. So this is our main card, our first card. And it's like something, something luxurious. We'll just leave it at that and see what number two is. The yarn bowl. The yarn bowl. Well, you don't need a yarn bowl, but you also don't need lace weight silk. But if you had lace weight silk and a yarn bowl, you could... <laughs> use them together. So this is a utilitarian, but um, uh, I'm going to say unnecessary, but I want to say it nicely. It's a, it's a um, luxury to have a yarn bowl. I've started using yarn, my yarn bowls. I have yarn bowls, but I've started using them. Hello to Bangladesh. <laughs> um, I've started using my yarn bowls because if my balls of yarn roll around Mr. Mustache, wants to play. So now I'm using yarn balls and um, bags with zippers on them. <laughs> Tammy says she feels a splurge coming. The pom pom. Okay. So these are three things that are completely unnecessary. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a pom pom fan for me. Um, but I'm also not a hat wearer. So that that could be a thing. Um, so none of these are necessary. 
to life, and yet they make life better, right? This makes life, uh, this makes you feel special and worthy because you are deserving of the lace weight um, silk. So this is, this means, um, you know, treat yourself, you're, you're worth it. Somebody is going to ask you out, which means they think you're worth it. <laughs> Um, and you should just decide that you're worth it and, um, and, and believe it. Um, and the yarn bowl is maybe something to help you. It's, it's utilitarian. It's something to help you. Also, it's luxurious because you don't need it. Um, but it may be something that you choose to have near you that you don't need because, um, frivolousness and fun, Tammy says, something that you have near that you that you acquire that's unnecessary but that makes you feel good about yourself um this is you feeling good about yourself this is something that you like maybe a visual reminder um to say oh yeah i'm worth it i i have i'm able to i'm able to um acquire a yarn bowl that i don't need and it's beautiful and i'm able to acquire it uh, and it reminds me that i am worth it I have done something for myself that's frivolous. <laughs> and then the pom-pom to me is always like that extra that um, you're done with the thing and, oh, but let's embellish it. So this is the, um, the fun thing. So this might be, so this, this is you, this is us. We are, we are like, we are lace weight silk inside. I am doing, a, I am doing an Oracle reading. This is the knitter's Oracle. Um, I'm a knitter. I teach knitting classes and work in a yarn shop. And this is a deck that is uh, inspired by a deck of tarot cards. And for fun, I do a reading at the end of my live stream every week. So we have drawn the lace weight silk, which is um, a luxurious yarn. So I'm treating that today as um, our inner beauty that we should acknowledge. And then the second card we drew was the yarn bowl. A yarn bowl is something you can put the yarn in. So um, as you're working, knitting or crocheting or whatever, it doesn't roll around the house. Um, so it's useful. But this one in, in this case is beautiful. It's either a, a beautiful wood or it's um, maybe a, a ceramic or po polymer. I'm going to say polymer. I don't know what that means. Um, but it's a beautiful, useful thing. Um, and I'm interpreting that as something that we acquire that reminds us that we are special inside and then um so I just interpret them however they hit me that day that I'm reading them that I'm looking at them I am not a trained uh <laughs> oracle reader um and then the pom-pom to me is just frivolous it's an add-on it's an embellishment and um it's fun so luxurious us uh worth it um, this is this is our inner beautiful selves. This is uh, something that we acquire that's useful. Maybe we use it every day and we think, oh, I'm, I'm using this because I treated myself. I'm, like maybe it's a gorgeous um, teacup, for example, that you're using because uh, you saw it and thought, I really like that. I'm going to treat myself and get that. And then the pom-poms, maybe the... Um, <sighs> Maybe you splurged on um, something frivolous. So embellishment-wise, maybe you dyed your hair purple that day. Oh! So I don't know how to say your name. Fah Fahamida? Um, a, Kelly says a friend of hers was in Bangladesh last month with, with Michigan State, which is um, local to us. And that she loved it. Nice. I like how that's how we're we're coming together. Um, and so the pom pom is going to be maybe maybe you dyed that purple streak in your hair. Um, you know, completely useless, but but fun. Um, or maybe it's a nail polish, or maybe it's um, a scarf that you bought. So something um, showy and fun um, that you did for yourself. Okay. So let's see what the um, I'm going over again. I didn't know the shoes would take that long. So let's see what the suggested interpretation is. And see how they would have led us. Um, lace weight silk. I should have these memorized. The lace weight silk. Obs see, I don't. Obsession. 
ambition, desire, addiction, manipulation, indulgence. They really go kind of dark on that, don't they? Interesting. Okay, I didn't go, I don't think I've ever gone that way. Indulgence, yes. Desire, yes. I think addiction's pretty strong there. Manipulation, I don't know. Um, I don't go that direction. And then the yarn ball is um, 19, right? Nope. Yep, 19. <clears throat> Which I can't find. Oh, there it is. Protection, guardedness, having a wall up, safety and cautiousness. See, that's kind of, if not dark, it's, um, <laughs> thank you. Um, I'm here every Monday from 9 to 9.30 Eastern time <laughs> just to try to wake up so I can get to work on time today. Um, this holds me accountable. Let's see. So the yarn ball, their protection, guardedness, having a wall up, safety and cautiousness. That's also not dark, but serious, more serious than I went. And then 31, the pom pom. Um, I can't find 31. Oh, creat creativity, imagination, emotion and desire. So I didn't, I mean, I don't ever get stick to the script, but um, we are all beautiful inside. We deserve reminders of that, and we deserve to have a little fun with it. Okay, that's today's uh, interpretation of the Knitter's Oracle. And I will <clears throat> put those back in box, and we will look at them again next week. So there we go. Um, thank you for helping me clean out a laundry basket full of baby shoes. Who knew? Um, I've got at least one more thing of baby things. We did blankets and uh, burp claws um, a couple weeks ago. You might need protection for silk. Yeah, <sighs> we probably need protection, but I'm, I'm for everything, actually. But let's just save that for another day. Today's all about um, being beautiful inside. <laughs> um, I will see you guys next week. Thank you for joining me. And um, is it sibling day? I have siblings. I talked to one of them yesterday, uh, which was very nice. <sighs> okay. Thanks a lot, you guys. I will see you next week. Same time, same channel. Bye. Oops, I'm on the wrong page.